I'm so like. <laughs> drop my coffee that would have been the end of the video <laughs> hey girl what's up <laughs> new hairline new me new bang so y'all ready for the details already i like to hop straight out the gate on my videos let me take you through the process as to how i got this lovely 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 wig it's gonna be like a brief overview because I kind of want to do like a detailed of how I make my wigs kind of thing coming up soon. So I don't want to spill too much. First, it's the products that you're going to need. So you're going to need, um, I'm kind of just like trying to remember everything off the top of my head. You're going to need a mesh a spandex cap, needle and thread, obviously. Scissors, a mannequin hand, the mannequin stand, a comb, and like some pins, like the sewing pins just to tack down. I keep thinking it's bugs on, on the wall, but it's actually just a neck. So it's like the front of go. I'm getting so much better at, at, at this. I just stuttered. <laughs> I do that all the time though. I'm getting so much better at these wigs. Oh wait, can this be a thumbnail? Oh, no, let's see. No. This hair is from Miss Cara. Hey Miss Cara. Thank you, sis. You got me looking bomb. Per usual, for us, like I say in every video, everything is gonna be linked down below. So we're gonna have the direct link to this hair. And we're gonna have the direct link to their site. And just, you know other cute stuff so make sure you look down in the description and check out everything that i put down there so i'm currently rocking two 24s a 22 a 20 and then an 18 inch frontal <laughs> yeah so this hair is very very thick from the weft to the end ain't no skimpy bundles baby skimpy bundles who is she we don't do those let me get down to how I make this unit. Because I'm, I'm getting kind of good though, ain't I? Lying say I'm not. Let me know how I did on this wig in the, in the comment section below. Step one is you need to put the spandex cap, the wig cap, whatever kind of cap you getting to use to sew your Miss Cara hair extensions on. It, you know, what it, whichever one you using to make this wig, put it on your head, okay? And you want to position it to how you want your wig to fit. I feel like this is the most challenging part. It's challenging in a sense that everything else about making the wig is easy as hell. If you get this part down pat, don't worry. You can do it multiple times. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? You can practice, basically. But once you get this down pat, you're going to be a pro. So you want to take your frontal and you want to measure it on your head from ear to ear. As you can see, I'm checking, trying to see like how I want it to lay, how far up I want it to be. And I have, I'm holding it like this from ear to ear because that's where a frontal is supposed to go. It's not supposed to go further behind your ears. It's not, it's not supposed to stop here. It's not supposed to stop here. It's supposed to be from ear to ear. Okay? Oh, oh, I, I can't do that. Wait, I got to do a really good one. Oh, once I measured it, and I wanted to and, and I see where I wanted to fall on my head I take and I tuck these hairs behind my ear you see me doing it and I take it off make sure I keep my fingers to where that was where my cap and the frontal meet that is where I want to mark a line or draw a dot or whatever you want to do and boom <laughs> next you want to pin it down to your mannequin head okay so you want to tack it down make sure you put a tack where you marked it on this side and where you marked it on this side and fill it all in between i mean i don't know why i pointed here when i said that but fill it all in between in this area don't tack down the front that really does i mean you can but that's not really what matters that's not really what matters right now the back meaning the back of the frontal on down make sure it's tight make sure it's secure and sew that down that what the way you're doing it you might think like oh i think she's doing it i think it's wrong because it's gonna be like a little loose in the front you're doing it right you gotta make sure that's the, that little flap because that means it's gonna lay right this is tight already and you ain't put it on yet it's, baby it's not gonna be right listen to me i know this i've done this several times and the hard part's done <laughs> i promise you the hard part is done i mean besides the plucking part but that's another video i'm just showing you how to actually construct the wig i'm not showing you how to pluck or whatever the case may be because i still you know i still got a little work to do once you're done sewing your frontal don't cut it yet because it's you still haven't cut it yet you just marked and just sew, sewed it okay so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your bundles and you're gonna start to sew you literally want to sew straight across so do like zig what i did was like zigzag patterns i kind of skipped over this part because it's kind of it's kind of like boring i don't want to keep showing you the same thing you know what i'm saying <laughs> but you basically just 
you ever seen if you've ever had ever had a sew in if you ever seen somebody do a sew in like this is exactly what you're gonna do just want to zigzag it all the way up all the way up and i double my tracks because i have four bundles and a closure i mean a, and a frontal and a frontal is basically in my mind like one bundle so i basically have five bundles in my head so i wanted to make sure everything fit <laughs> So once you get all the way up there, this is what you get. Probably, I didn't show you how I cut my lace or nothing like that because again, I want to do a, like a more detailed video on how to do that. But I've shown you in most, my hand is so dry and I need my hands. Ooh, this is embarrassing. Yes, I can. I showed you how I cut my lace in multiple videos, previous videos. So you can see that. Always, always, always. If you have any questions, you know, you can like, let me know, girl. Just let me know in the comments. I always respond. Probably lady. This is why I say this is not really a tutorial. It's kind of just like a brief overview of, overview of how I did it because I didn't show you any of this. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. But I just cut like, because you know how the frontal was super long. I just kind of cut like an ear-like ear, ear -like piece thing. Does that make sense? And that brings me to the beautiful hair. So I actually used a wand for this. It's actually straight hair. Did I? Have I mentioned that yet? This hair is gorgeous. I look like a Barbie doll, don't I? Look. Wait, I got to put the coffee in frame. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Cara. Hey, girl. What's the tea? What's the tea on this hair? The tea on this is that all of this is $181. I'll do a finger test. I mean, a finger comb. So she does not tangle. Of course not, what? And it's so, what I love about this is so thick and so full. Like for the quality, the price, the hair is on point. Literally like it's thick, it's not tangling. The shine the movement and the body she's got all of that but yeah i absolutely love how this came out this is a vibe and that this hair with this fit that i made by the way because people always ask me like where i get my fits from and i make a lot of them y'all let me know let me know if you could find a better deal i'll wait still waiting and on that note i'll see y'all in my next one